All right, hello, and welcome to this very first playthrough of Immortals Phoenix Rising. Last time we played through Shaken to the Core, and now we're going to play through a breakthrough. Now, I have the mission list in front of me. I've been using it so I know where to divide up my videos, and uh, including this one, there are, only uh, there are only four missions left, only three after this one. So, the last several, I don't know why, but for uh, Hephaestus' quest line, all the missions are real short. They've all been super short. Um, so we've gotten through it really quickly, but there have been more of them, whereas uh, all the other gods, their quests have been longer. Um, but they've only had like three or four. But man, Hephaestus' quests are paced very differently, so... I don't know if this one's going to be short too, or. But I know we might. According to. If the how long to beat time. Unless the how long to beat time is wildly wrong. Then we. Th there's some of these. At least some of these have to be. Have to be. Sh pretty long. Oh, I can keep going. Okay. Oh, can I even do this? Hold on. No, stop it. All right. Yeah, maybe. your enemies. Oh, let's just go kick these fuckers' asses. Undeterred, plunging the hammer of Hephaestus into the heart of the fire. Prometheus, this is pushing. <coughs> no human could dream of holding that hammer. Or holding your lightning. And yet, absorbing the power of the flames, the hammer came alive. And with it, Phoenix released the second of Hephaestus' blessing. With the hammer revived and Hephaestus' suffering trapped below, all Phoenix had to do now was jump. I will make you. Oh, happy. you're kidding me. You will suffer. That's the whole quest? What's the perfectly timed parries create a fiery shockwave and inflicts 164 damage and 256 stun? I really should be using parry more. I can't believe that's it. Well, I mean, that's it. We, that's the, that's the mission. So next is Dark Arts. We'll see you on the next one.